This is a nine slide slide deck, uh, handwritten, that goes over two things for Enduring 145, lemonade and gua gua guacamole. First two pages are for me, these are summaries for gua gua guacamole. There's a bell curve, which I will preview over the next seven slides. This is what's at stake. What's at stake is there's a bell curve to entrepreneurship and there, you want you can be on the high end or the low end of Enduring 145, and these are hacks to entrepreneurship. Uh, these are ways to work hard and smart. Where I believe if you are an engineer, the way that you embrace risk, uh, the way that you, we don't have to as engineers, we don't have to have as much risk as. Uh, an econ major or an LAS major simply because we're in a harder major and there should be way less risk for us. The way I do that is by pattern recognition, pattern replication, pattern iteration. That's what gua gua guacamole is and it's the the pattern replicating via recipes of previously successful engineers and at MIT I do this thing called engineering entrepreneurship education for engineers who might never be founders. We're not here to start a billion dollar business, we're trying to flex and develop our entrepreneur muscles which can be applied for everything. The basis for my work at MIT, which started at Sanford, is the Tom Chang Engineer to Entrepreneur Transformation. Tom Chang is my father, I am Larry Chang, and the Tom Chang Engineer to Entrepreneur Transformation it's supposed to be funny, um, but it's basically 35 years of his life boiled down um, where he transitioned from an engineer to an entrepreneur, and I, uh, short, I shortened that, uh, that ramp up time. Lemonade. We spent all of our life, um, granted we're sophomores and juniors, we spent all of our lives trying to get into Stanford. Um, and of course getting into Stanford, but one of the things that we might have missed is doing a lemonade stand business while we're kids. That's what Engineering 145 is. It's a lemonade stand business. It's not a start a billion dollar company in a few weeks. It's start a lemonade stand. The focus is doing something fun and easy for a seventh grader to do. And the thesis is you want to build muscles, not your brain. And the concept that underlies the, the lemonade is something that I call the Larry Chang mini company concept. The public is out there doing startups. Startups might fail. Mini company concepts, nearly impossible to fail. You can hamster wheel the back end, do a lead gen page. These are all specifics to the, the lemonade stand business. Do a lead gen page, which is email or cell phone collection. WordPress thesis that you can email publish post to. You want to be able to generate a lot of things on the web, and if you want to Google something to, to study ahead, it's, it's perpetual motion machine, those three words, perpetual motion machine, and the other concept to per perpetual motion machine is engineer up a tidal wave of momentum. Let me repeat that. Grab a pen, engineer up a tidal wave of momentum. You can also do after parties in the real world. These things help. Uh, you don't want to just launch your company. You want to premiere it, grand open it, and debut it. RIP APIs. The APIs are out there. If you're building something from scratch, you're not doing it right. And you can close deals via a one-way letter of intent. And if you want to speak at a conference that you're not invited to, which is a gua 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 moly recipe, you want to do something called how to do what your company does without having to hire your company. So in my case, it's how to do what Duck9 does without having to hire Duck9. It makes the conference producer say, huh, that's really interesting, how do you benefit? And that's how the ball gets rolling, is you want to speak at conferences. Because the end conclusion for an older person is, oh my gosh, I don't want to do it on my own, why don't I just hire you to do it? That presentation, how to do what Duck9 does without having to hire Duck9, is is what engineers up momentum for us. Hamster wheel the back end. What I mean by that is you don't want to create and code up all the back end without promoting whether or not your concept even works. And that's what hamster wheel the back end. There's two bitlies. 
there is the next thing which is execution and Mark Cuban wrote two great blog posts on it too as well which is bit.ly mcuban710 bit.ly mcuban711. I actually want to have an app where any entrepreneur uh, can go from here okay in the bell curve to here by reading a handful of Mark Cuban posts or Eric Ries posts or Max Ventilla posts because this is what's at stake you've got an entrepreneur bell curve and you can make massive steps up the bell curve if you read and execute a blog post. I'm not talking about skimming a blog post, I'm talking about reading and rereading in the same way that I read, read and reread my mentor's book, Mark McCormack, What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School. Oh my gosh, these slides transition nicely. He came up with a handful of recipes, okay, or techniques, like how to get home field advantage on the road. So what I did was I made all these recipes and I studied them in detail and I call these 13 recipes gua gua guacamole. The public is out there doing something like a business plan. We, as the geniuses, we can engineer up a business model. Public's out there hoping for one click entrepreneurship, we do 35 clicks in something called gua gua guacamole. Conf public's out there crashing a conference, we're crashing a conference and going to VIP. The public's out there reading Quora, you as a genius, you're submitting guest posts to TechCrunch, VentureBeat, GigaOM, CNN. We are making news versus just armchair quarterbacking. Public's out there owning a book. You host an author reception, so you go from crasher to VIP at a conference that you're crashing. We're like wise guys in the old ways, but we're not just wise guys, we're wise people, and we are engineers. Public's out there doing a startup. You will be doing a mini company concept. Public's out there emailing a thank you. You send a Tiffany gift. I'm not talking about a $3,000 Tiffany gift. I'm talking about just a, a, a three-digit $100 gift that you give to somebody as a way of saying thank you. Thank yous in the real world versus an email thank you, which to a VIP is just more work. Asks for a business card, that's what the public does. You will be getting cell phone numbers. You'll be closing for cell phone numbers. Guaguacomoli, the goal is for you guys during Engineering 145 to present at the August 3rd TechCrunch. You want to pattern recognize what E145 the kids done before, pattern replicate it and pattern iterate it. Now, there's two things that'll help you, which I've mentioned, now I will go into detail. Perpetual promotion machine. It was a person who, not a huge fan of me, but wrote an article about this. And basically you want your plan cast, your Eventbrite, your Facebook, your lead gen page, your after party, which is in the real world, your WordPress, to all engineer up momentum for us. Uh, we as engineers, we already have momentum because we are engineers. This is a way to engineer up momentum in the real world by being very street smart. Bitly VC 0310Z. I would read and reread that. And remember, my cell phone six five zero two eight three eight zero zero eight. Mentorship. It's my chapter five of my book. Uh, you mention the person, I can almost play a game where I list out all their mentors. Steve Jobs had Edwin Land. Um, I have Mark McCormick. Um, everybody's got a mentor. Uh, mentor mentions per press interview is also something awesome to Google. I'll repeat that. Mentor mentions per press interview. Oh my gosh, I'm like right on cue here. Mentor mentions per press interview is how many times you mention your mentor per press interview. You've got uh, how to woo a mentor, which is critical, and it's a GigaOM article. How to charm a mentor, which I think is in VentureBeat. How to get a VC you don't know to mentor you is, I think, in GigaOM. These are all things that you can Google and find. Thanking a mentor. I use Tiffany because when men get other men Tiffany's, it's awkward but so fun. Mentor defined. There's three. There's really three categories of mentorship. Well, there's a fourth, which is the default one, which is critical for you to understand. But if there's a superstar mentor, a cohort mentor, a junior mentor, and a default mentor. Knowing who these four people are for us, critical, and being able to leverage all of them. And you want to update your mentor like a FedEx package. 
In the same way that old people need to know when the package goes from the curb to the truck, the truck to the street, the street to the yard, that's what you want to do is you want to update your mentor in that same way. So I hope you realize